And new at six, a former North Carolina Republican congressman and White House chief of staff who claimed the 2020 election was stolen from Donald Trump is faking, facing accusations of voter fraud himself. Mark Meadows, who represented many of us for more than five years, is registered to vote at an address in Scaly Mountain, North Carolina. Queen City News anchor Casey Jones tonight took that trek to the mountains of Macon County to investigate. North Carolina records show that this is the home that former congressman and White House chief of staff Mark Meadows claimed as his residence on the latest voter registration forms. But the question is, does he really live here? Scaly Mountain, an unincorporated community sitting near the Georgia state line. Tucked away in the trees, elevated 4,000 feet, a trailer home sits at 495 McConnell Road. Voter records show it's the home former North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows used as his residence on the latest Macon County voter registration form. Republican Meadows perpetuated claims that the 2020 election was stolen, but now he's facing claims of fraud himself. Hassan Crockett, chair of political science at Livingstone College, weighed in. If that's the case, if these allegations are true, then that will consist of voter fraud. That means that he is trying to say that he is a resident in a particular address or at a particular address, that, and he's not. And that's a, a form of voter fraud. The front door to the trailer was not easily accessible, but we rang the dragon bell. The dogs barked, but no one answered the door. According to their website, Mark Meadows currently works as a senior partner for Conservative Partnership Institute, located in Washington, D.C. We tried to reach him at his office today via phone and email, but didn't hear back. Property records show the home is owned by Ken Abel since 2021. Election laws require voters to claim the place they lay their head at night as home. Records show Meadows last voted by mail listing this address in 2020. The integrity of our voting system matters. Uh, if you take, for example, say you have 5% uh, of the people who register to vote, they give us false um, residencies or false addresses. And look what that does to our voting. Now, they can vote anywhere. They can, they can, they can come in and have an influence and an impact upon the uh, local vote. Uh, they can uh, use that's fraud. And Casey Jones, Queen City News.